Ladies and gentlemen, we've been following this. Adam Kokesh has been calling me, the famous libertarian uh, talk show host who was going to have the arm march on Washington. He has now officially said, and I've talked to him over the phone, I should have made a bigger deal out of this, but I kept thinking he was going to get out. Then we heard last week that, that they'd taken him to an undisclosed location, talking to his crew, and uh, now they've announced no bond for Adam Kokesh. And I, when I talked to Adam multiple times, uh, they would cut him off the phone. He has my cell phone number. He called me from prison. Let's not exaggerate, 20 times, and they cut him off. And then I started getting messages. Then we even tried to hook it up off my cell phone to record it, and then he couldn't get back through. Uh, Adam Kokesh would call in, and he would call me and say, they planted it, they planted it. I, I didn't have drugs. So, so officially, he's saying they planted it. And he's the type of guy that knew he was going to get raided. Why would he have, even if he did have mushrooms there, why would he have it? Um, and so we'll try to get an update on that. I mean, he's the type of guy that would say if he did. And he, he knew they were going to be coming. Why would he do that? So they set him up. And it shows you, folks, a lot of people thought Adam Kokesh was like a psyop or something. No, I don't think so. I think he's uh, pretty wound up from, you know, all the stuff he saw in Fallujah as a Marine. And uh, he's kind of gotten really reckless and wild. I can only admire his courage, but uh, my gut tells me he's not some agent. My gut tells me he's in deep, deep, deep trouble uh, for challenging these people. I mean, he went into Mordor. You know what? Let's get Lou Rockwell on the next few days. Not so much about Adam, but just I've been wanting to get Lou Rockwell on. I've been forgetting to tell you to do that. Yeah, activist Adam Kokesh ordered hell without bond in D.C., uh, we did the last interview with him before he got hauled off. Uh, have them blurb this on InfoWars, along with our last interviews with him, and then our last interviews with his crew. The ADC Superior Court judge has ordered a veteran and activist accused of openly carrying a shotgun in D.C.'s Freedom Plaza held without bond. So that law has been overturned there for five years, right at five years, and I think it'll be about a month, it'll be five years, and they don't care. You, you have a shotgun in D.C., they're going to hold you without bond. So he's a political prisoner. During a preliminary hearing Monday, an attorney representing Adam Kokesh argued that the stunt filmed and posted on YouTube was nothing more than political theater. The judge disagreed, ordering Kokesh be held until his next court appearance. I consider your client to be a very dangerous man, the judge said. This is not a political statement. It's a totally political statement. Wow. Wow, folks. When, when, when uh, tyrants prevail, the best men rot in filthy jails, while those that cry to appease, appease, are hung by those they tried to please. When freedom fails, the best men rot in filthy jails, while those that cried appeased peas are hung by those they tried to please. I consider your client to be a very dangerous man. I consider this judge to be a very dangerous pig demon. Uh, the judge said, this is not a political statement. Well, I guess you thank God you're God. Kokesh has been arrested and charged with drug-related offenses in Fairfax County, Virginia, earlier in July. He's expected to be back in D.C. courtroom August 13th. So they hauled him out of Virginia last Thursday. He disappeared. They wouldn't tell anybody where he was for days. And now they've hauled him up. Unbelievable. So that's up on DrudgeReport.com, Red Link. And for posterity, we'll get it up on InfoWars to mirror it as well with our videos with Kokesh. So please tell the crew. I know they're there listening anyways. You know, fortune favors the bold. But you've got to be as wise as a serpent and as peaceful as a dove. Or walk softly but carry a big stick. But there is a time to whip the money changers. Christ would have been held without bond. I guess he was and then killed. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to go back to your phone calls and more news, but right now, I want to just recap what broke during the last segment. Adam Kokesh, the libertarian talk show host, frequent guest on this show, he got arrested a few weeks ago in a huge SWAT team raid in Maryland. And I've since talked to him from a state jail in Virginia, but he's been transferred to the feds now, even though it was the feds that arrested him. And what happened to him, he says, is that they planted the mushrooms on him. I mean, he said I, they were going to be raiding me over having the loaded shotgun in D.C. as a demonstration. 
So why would I have mushrooms there? And he said they brought in big bags full of stuff. And it, it was just bizarre. And there's a bunch of witnesses. I've had lawyers that were there waiting for the raid. They've been camping out there for weeks when it happened, uh, expecting them to try something. And they said they saw them bring in big, big paper bags full of stuff. And it sure wasn't the, their lunch. And they searched the place for over four hours. They said they found marijuana and uh, mushrooms. And, and now they've announced he's being held without bail. The feds are for being a, quote, very dangerous man, and that it was not a political statement, even though his lawyer argued that, and he said it's a political statement. And so now he has disappeared uh, into the federal uh, rat hole, and the Superior Court judge has ordered a veteran and activist accused of open carrying a shotgun in D.C.'s Freedom Plaza held without bond. During a preliminary hearing, Today, an attorney representing Adam Kokesh argued that the stunt filmed and posted on YouTube was nothing more than political theater. The judge disagreed, ordering that Kokesh be held until next court appearance. I consider your client to be a very dangerous man, the judge added. This is not a political statement, because she's God, she can say that. And it goes on that he's next expected to be seen in a D.C. courtroom August 13th. So in America, a guy with no criminal record other than being arrested for dancing at the Jefferson Monument, that's not allowed. Well, they treat you like scum in D.C. Families filming on the side of the sidewalk. You can't do that. What's the law? I told you. I mean, they want you to know you're scum. I mean, you talk, I mean, North Korea isn't that rude to people. I mean, it's, it's pathetic. I've been there many times, the film crews, you name it, and thought they were singling us out until I'd be, uh, I've told the story many times. We got it on tape somewhere around here, 100 yards, 200 yards from the, from the Washington Monument. And at first cops come over and go, you can't film here. And you're like, we're with a film crew. Uh, we check. They don't give permits in D.C. Plus, you don't need a permit. We're just here. And they go, all right, I'll let you do it for five minutes. And you're like, but th there's no law. And he goes, I can do whatever I want, a police officer's order. And you're like, so they walk off. And then security guards come over. And we're way back from even the, you know, the uh, ring of flags around it, down the hill. I was with C Think one of the times that made the New World Order film. They just had handheld cameras. They come over and the security guard goes, I don't care what the cops told you. I'll have you arrested. And then you try to go, even in the park across the street, I'm talking 200 yards from the White House gate. And Secret Service on bikes come over, but in uniforms and go, Get out of here, you can't film. And you're like, It's America. And they're like, Hey. And, and, and you're like, And then. They move on and then go to a family. And the family's like, and they're getting off on it. It's like a family and little kids. and I mean, they want you to know, this country's ours, and there ain't nothing you're doing. We're going to gut it up one side and down the other. I mean, this is like Mao Zedong runs this country or something. And you see him trying to charge people with uh, you know, life in prison in Illinois for filming the police because they're hauling off cars from their junkyard that they've owned for, you know, 50-something years, and they've got classic cars worth massive amounts of money. And then when the judge finally said, I'm going to throw this out of court, they sent the state down with a special amicus brief saying, we want this guy indicted. We want people in jail for life for filming. For life, you get a lot. I mean, folks, this is just North Korea if they have their way. And it makes me physically... It is absolutely incredible, absolutely incredible that, that this type of stuff is going on, that, that a slave with a shotgun loading it and saying, I'm not a slave, Rosa Parks sitting at the front of the bus, I'm not sitting at the back of the bus, that that so freaked out the system. That so freaked out the system that they're holding him without bond. It just shows the incredible tyrants these people are. Because the ultimate crime is a slave that's armed. Now you can watch the InfoWars nightly news streaming live as it happens for free. Check it out at InfoWars.com forward slash show.